what's going on everybody and today we will be going doing another review on technically two weapons but we're going to do both just knock them out it's the uh the wild mannered black cell and just the plain old wild mannered so uh if you watched the previous episode i did talk about these two and to see i was going to check to see what the differences are uh if if any and you know, do a match or two with each version. So let's go and check out what attachments they have. All right, so starting off with the mild, uh, wild mannered black, we have the Kepler red dot, which is the same. Both, both have that, both have the compensator on which adds, uh, assistance with our vertical control. Obviously the red dot just helps with aiming. Um, we have the CHF barrel, which, uh, has a headshot multiplier times two, but dampers your vertical recoil and your horizontal control. So, which means your compensator is virtually compensating for <laughs> your, your barrel. So, uh, vertical recoil control, t uh, is a con on three. And the compensator is vertical recoil control positive three. So you're pretty much back to zero on that. Uh, we have the extended mag uh, two, which uh, obviously increases our mag size or, or rounds, but ADS, reload, quickness, and sprint to fire are all reduced. And to assist with our, our aiming and horizontal, horizontal and ver vertical recoil control, we have the recoil spring, which... Well, we need because of the barrel that we're using. So as far as this build, I, I'm not super excited about it. There's a lot of negatives in my opinion instead of positives, but it looks cool. It is a cool looking weapon. As for the wild mannered, same um, Kepler red dot, like I said, same compensator, same barrel and the extended mag 2. The only thing it is missing is the Roy Cole Spring. The only difference. So this gun is going to be a little bit harder because um, what is it? The barrel has a horizontal and vertical uh, con but your vertical is being assisted or helped out by your compensator. But nothing is assisting your horizontal. So you're going to have a little bit well harder aiming be with on your horizontal side when it comes to shooting. So that's both weapons. Let's get into some matches and see how they perform. Right, starting off with the wild mannered black on Nuketown. See what happens. Secure the objectives. Hard point is secure. It's taking the lead. Stay on task. Where did they go? Standing stun. Hard point located. Hard point active. Hostiles have captured the hard point. Ow. Weep. Hostiles have the hard point.
shit. Hardpoint identified. Hardpoint is secure. I tried. Hard point is secure. Enemy RTXT detected. RTXT moving out. <laughs> oh, what a little clip. Hard point locked down. Hostiles have the hard point. Hey! Not cool, bro. Driving RCFT. They've taken the lead. Oh. Gotcha. The fuck were you doing? Don't know how I left that gun fight, but okay. I'll just go there. Stop laying down, you bitch. Stop it. Nerd. Requesting recon above. Hard point active. Hostiles have the hard point. Oh, Jesus. Get out of that. Oh, rude. Nice. 
nerd. Oh, I was away, dude. Ah, oh, come on. Bad plan. Get out of the way, nerd! No, good. You switch. Now. Why can't I lay down? It's so weird. Guess I can get some, some captures in. Not bad. Not for mild manner. Oh God, I got a good one. <clears throat> and I get shot in the back. They're taking two. We lost B. What the hell is your problem? How's reloading? I'm reloading. Give me a sec. <laughs> Move, nerd. Losing A. 
<laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> I tried. I wanted to beat him down. I'm in the bathroom. He spawn there? Don't kill me. I'm re I'm reloading. Fuck. Taking B. No. Controlling Bravo. Securing zone A. Ow. That was nothing but headshot, but okay. Oh, nice. Alright, so... We did a couple matches with... With both weapons, or both versions... Of the XM4 uh, Wild Manor, the Black Cell, and the regular. Um... Both performed actually better than I thought they would. I was really worried about the uh, overall handling when it came to horizontal vertical because of the uh, the barrel, the uh, I, I, was it the CF barrel? I can't remember if that was the actual the name of it, but um, it actually did quite well. Um, handling was not bad. Um, the extended mag actually worked out in my benefit. Uh, still is not a setup I would go for. Um, I like the Black Cell uh, camo, but I kind of dig in just the regular version a lot better. Honestly, I think it's got a sleeker look. So, um, overall, I give this one, I, I'll give this one a go. It, it worked out pretty well. There might be some changes I would do to it personally. Um, <clears throat> I don't think that barrel is necessary. Um, so let, let's kind of take a look and see what I would do. All right, so this is kind of be over both. Uh, we'll do this, uh, the, the regular Wild Manor, just because it is, the only thing it's missing is the recoil grip, which is 100% what I would put on. I, I love this because of its pros when it comes to vertical and horizontal. I think it's great. Um... I don't feel like this is necessary, but if you like the Kepler Red Dot and that's the one for you, um, Rocket, I am still a huge advocate for, that's not it, that's not it, there it is, the Prismatech Reflex, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, I like this scope, it's worked out splendidly for me in a lot of matches. But if you're more into getting that longer range, obviously 100% go for the Kepler Red Dot. Um, I, I still support the suppressor, um, but if you want better vertical recoil control, the compensator, by all means. Uh, or if you just want a harder kick, 
uh, first shot recoil control, and this also uh, your your ported compensator hits a little harder, and it assesses your vertical recoil control. So go for that. Uh, this barrel, I, I, I just wouldn't do. Headshot multiplier, great. Don't care. Uh, it, it, it's not <clears throat> that that big of a deal to me. Um, I'm still the reinforced barrel is probably my my favorite. Damage range and bullet velocity, or if you you know, it it just depends on how you want to go. Short barrel isn't bad. Uh, if you're a little if you if you're a running gunner, but I prefer the reinforced barrel. Uh, under barrel, uh, I'm a huge supporter for under barrel anything. Um, the precision foregrip is still my favorite, aiming idle sway and horizontal rear control to, to better fit, benefit your accuracy. Or if you just worry, you're not worried about that, the vertical foregrip is still good. Uh, magazine, I don't feel like you need it, but if you have uh, aiming issues and you just need a parade spray, or spray and pray, go for your extended mag by all means. I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna knock you for it. Um, but uh, I believe your regular ammo capacity is 30 for the regular mag, which in my opinion is more than enough for most rounds. Um, rear grip, I'm huge into having the rear grip. I'm uh, yeah, is it this one? I'm brain farting. Uh, doo -doo -doo. quick draw grip is good just as it, uh, ADS is, is good is better but uh, I think I yeah the commando grip ADS and sprint to fire both aided in that in that area um, stock not huge and really caring about the stock but you know it just depends on your your play style uh, your light stock it's good for uh, movement 100% assist your movement or your uh, balance stock. Same same thing, aim walking, but it, out of the two, I'd probably go this one, your balance stock. Laser, I don't really care about. They, you know, if, if you need that assistance and accuracy or indoor mobility, by all means, put, throw one on. And like I said earlier, your recoil grip, still my favorite. Um, you know, uh, the five NATO over, over pressured is good. And if you want to score street stuff, go for that. But overall aiming is my big, biggest concern, my biggest uh, thing. So I want to be able to get on target the best. And I feel your recoil grip or recoil spring is the way to go. All right. So for our next episode, we'll be go. Going over uh, our first LMG of the Battle Pass, uh, Idle Hands. So we'll give this one a shot. I'm probably be doing probably two videos a day. I'm I'm, I'm behind. I took a break. I've been playing. I've been uh, grinding camos in zombies. I really like the 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 camo, the zombie camos. Over the multiplayer ones, so I'm I'm working my way towards. Uh, getting all those done so we'll, we'll probably get this one out today as well and then we'll move on to our first new gun in the battle pass i don't know how to say this saug i hope that's right submachine gun so we'll give this one a go as well in our in one of our upcoming videos so like i said more than likely this one will be out today as as with the uh, xm4 version uh, video and then tomorrow we'll get this one and uh, we won't go over bats or melee weapons yeah our, yeah we'll go over one it didn't want to show we'll do our assault rifle of the ak-74 tattered which is a kind of a cool looking uh camo and build so i hope you guys are looking forward to those videos as always, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll check you later. Peace.